Here at Muddy Hill Farm, we had some challenges in trying to keep our flock watered. Because our girls free range all the time, trying to hang teepees out there with vertical nipples on them or running some PVC lines just didn't work well for us. And when we contained them into certain cages or, or limited their range and trying to build again teepees or hanging up for vertical nipples or having open trough designs where they were constantly kicking litter into them or backing into them and soiling the water, we finally found and came up with what we think is a much better product. Our sideways zipper horizontal drinker nipple is spring loaded with an O-ring on the back. So now when they come up and they play with the pin, and you and I both know that our birds are very smart and they'll figure it out rather quickly. And when they play with that pin, it unseats the O-ring off the back side. And that's what allows the water to come down to the drip tray. And they're able to drink off of the drip tray. Much cleaner, much neater, and again, to me, much easier for the bird, much more natural. If you place the container at about the height of their back, it's going to be a much more natural position for them to come over and take a drink, not trying to crane their necks back in order to get to that vertical nipple. The other thing that we found is that if you have a dominant hen or a dominant rooster, if you have vertical nipples and they're hanging from the bottom, that bird can control everything that goes on underneath of that bucket. Now you set this on a cinder block and you've got one of these vertical nipples at different positions around, they can't control the entire area because they can't see behind. So even your weakest, shyest hen will be able to come up and get water even if the dominant is on the other side. So by utilizing this shape, this design, we have found that we have much cleaner water. We have water that is much easier for them to get to. And that's what's important to us here at Muddy Hill Farm.